All right, it's 92.7 and 96.9 WRRV. Uh, it's great to have you guys back. Theory of a Dead Man at the Chance in Poughkeepsie tonight. What's happening? Hey, hey. We've got be back. Uh, Dean back, bass player, and uh, Dave Brenner, uh, who, who rips it up on the guitar. Well, yes, thank you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys believe it's been 12 years uh, since your debut album? Has the time just flown by? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that we're still 22 years old <laughs> and uh, 12 years has passed. You know what? It does go by quick. Like, you look back and I'm like, yeah, we've been together for like, you know, eight years. And then I'm like, doing the math, I'm like, wait a minute, it's like 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler just got sent a picture, like our first tour, and we were just looking at the picture. And yeah, we were pretty young. Yeah, it's pretty, it is It is crazy to think about how much time has passed and how it feels like really not much time has passed. And uh, this is your fourth visit to WRV, so it's like every three years you guys, we get to... we got to pick up the pace. Yeah. we got to make it every two at least. And one and a half is better for me. But, yeah, okay, uh, whatever, sure. Let's cut it in half. <laughs> whatever you guys can squeeze us in, we appreciate it. But um, uh, you guys released eight singles from the last al- uh, from Scars and Souvenirs. Do you think the new album, uh, do you think you're going to approach... You think you're going to approach eight singles? That's a lot of singles. We're going to break it. We're going to do nine this time. (laughs) We don't really know. You know, you never know. It's so hard to say because you just, the reasons it worked so well with Scars and Souvenirs was just because of the state of radio and we were working multiple formats, right? We took these pop songs to pop formats. And that's, I think, one of the reasons we get so deep. Nowadays, you know, pop radio and stuff doesn't really want to touch rock bands too much. So we just filled our record full of rock songs and hopefully we'll get eight rock singles in and uh so, rock so can we get that in writing from you guys today that you'll play all eight <laughs> we just we just added the entire album that's amazing awesome. so and we haven't, superpower. Heard, we haven't heard it yet so <laughs> we haven't either actually <laughs> oddly enough <laughs> it's a big leap of faith so if i get fired it's your fault guys so. uh, well you can come stay in my in my <laughs> yeah. spare bedroom at home so that actually leads us to the next question album number five is done uh, how would you compare it to previous previous albums we well, say it it seems to be the most similar to our first record, oddly enough, uh, which seems like it could be taking a bunch of steps backwards. But you know what? I think it's just because we wanted to make a heavy rock record. So there's just a lot more heavy songs and not not so much middle ground where Theory of a Dead Man has lived for a long time. We're just sort of at the ends now doing really heavy stuff, and the stuff that isn't heavy is really on the other end. So when can we expect a new album? Is that coming out this summer? Yeah, July 8th is the official drop date. And what was that called? I read it somewhere. But it's called Savages. 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 Sounds, sounds aggressive. Yeah, yeah well, this, uh, this record is, is it's, a, it's a rocker. That's fantastic. Now, you guys have toured with bands like Shinedown and Motley Crue and Stone Sour. Uh, the list goes on. Who would you say are some of your favorite bands to tour with? Whew. All of those. Uh, we, yeah, all we had all a, the above. I had a lot of fun with the Motley <laughs> Crew. On the we did two tours with Motley Crew, and they were both some of the funnest tours we ever did. Um, other favorites. Uh, we made a lot of friends in other bands too, like bands like Pop Evil and Adelita's Way. We've had a lot of fun with those guys. Blackstone Cherry, Blackstone who just Cherry. dropped a new record. Cool. I think that uh, yeah, that's part of the appeal for uh, rock bands is every time you get back on the road, it's just like you get back out and you see all these bands that you haven't seen for a while, but you just pick up right where you left off you're all buddies drinking beer having a good time yeah we've been away for a little over a year now and then we just played a bunch of festivals down in the south and it was good to see a bunch of familiar faces so you guys uh took us took a while off from live shows yeah we did we did some stuff last summer just some state fairs and and whatnot but for the most part uh we're pretty much picking up right now Uh, this is our we we all kind of think today is like the start we've done a few shows last weekend but Right now, today is like the first of four in a row, and like that's what we call touring. We just want to start playing four shows in in four nights. So this is kind of the kickoff tonight. Now, have you guys been road testing the new material, or 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 do we have to wait for the new the new album? We're playing a couple of new album gems for for the for the fans. Not a ton. I mean, for us, we're because it's our fifth record. We still feel like we got a lot of catalog songs that our fans really want us to play live. So. And uh, what we always like to do is wait till the record comes out and let the fans tell us what songs they want to hear. You see it instantly on like iTunes, which yeah. songs people are really buying and gravitating to. So 
we're just picking a couple of our favorites to play right now, but looking forward to, you know, the fans hearing the record and them telling us what they want to hear. Cool. And definitely the new single, Drown, is in the, the set. Of nice. Course. Oh, yes. cool. So we'll get to hear that. That's excellent. And uh, so you, have you guys been following the uh, NHL playoffs at all? Absolutely. Uh, what are yeah, the, yeah of course. Are crazy? Hard. Cannot, are yeah. the uh, Are the Hockey Canadians going to uh, beat the Bruins? And if so, will it take all seven games? I'm root for the Bruins myself. Yeah, I, I gotta. Uh, it's a shame because we are Canadians. But I, uh, you know what? I, I that is terrible of me to uh, totally uh, assume that you guys are, are going to be rooting for the Canadians. You know, it's funny. Yeah. It's, it is the only Canadian just, team left in the playoffs. So normally, I think that we probably would, but we have a few buddies yeah, that play on the friends. Bruins. They do, think, the you know, Bruins. and and they are most of them are Canadian guys. Although you know, Tuka Rask, the goalie, is a buddy of ours from Finland. Finland. And, you know, Lucic is a buddy of ours from Vancouver. So we try to root for guys that we've met and in the hopes that we'll be able to party with the cup when they win. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a chance to drink out of the cup? No, but the what Stanley was the cup. cup that we did drink? The, out of? Calder, the Calder Cup, cup which, which is, is the AHL championship. Oh, nice. We have friends, uh, the Binghamton Senators, that won it a few years back. So the, uh, That's New York. Oh, that's that's cool. right. Yeah, and he brought it to one of the shows. So we all drank, drank out of that, out of which it. is, you know, I mean, it, it was exciting, but. The cup would be something else. That's for nice. sure. That's still a so goal. You gotta have goals. Yeah. Gotta well, you know, goals. we try to meet as many hockey players as possible. <laughs> That's our goal. Yeah. Like we just go around trying Secretly to meet hockey players. Just introducing yourself yeah. to hockey players because you just want to drink them. I do the same thing. I'm gonna start doing that. Uh, now, uh, will the Rangers come back against the Penguins? What do you think about that one? We had just uh, had this conversation uh, on the drive here, and I, I just don't think it's possible. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I mean, any it is hockey. Anything's possible, and that's what I love about the best of seven series. You know, you saw it with LA; they can they pulled out a miracle and and somehow managed to win. So it is possible, but I just don't know, man. I think that the, to win three straight against the the Penguins is going to be real, real, real challenge. We're pretty big Canuck fans too. You so are cool. ninety four. The Rangers and the Canucks still stings a little bit. <laughs> and plus, so yeah, I have you a took... hard time rooting for the. And the Rangers, Rangers. took our coach Elaine Vigneault from Vancouver, and we got Tortorella, and of course that already has gone south and. He's left, but we, you know, it's painful to watch Elaine Vigneault having success when the Canucks <laughs> didn't have success. So. I know how that goes. I, I'm a big uh, uh, baseball fan, and now uh, Ellsbury is over with the Yankees. So yeah, it changes. You know, when yeah. something like that happens, it like really makes you think. You're like, oh, yeah. man. Wade Boggs still stings from back in the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, Theory of a Dead Man at the uh, Chance in Poughkeepsie tonight. It's gonna be a great show. Yeah, uh, still some tickets available at the door. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pull out something from the archives here. Ooh, I love it. Uh, you guys have played acoustic here a few times, and uh, we're going to pull something out here. I think I uh, hate my life. We'll do Ooh, that. Ooh, I like Ooh. it. Let's reminisce. Nice. Let's do <laughs> it. It's a WRV Theory of a Dead Man live in the studio at the Chance in Poughkeepsie on stage tonight, and uh, still some tickets available. So I'm going to head out to the show. Thank you guys for stopping by. Our Thanks pleasure. For Anytime. Us. See you in a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I, if if it's two years and we're having this conversation, you guys are in trouble. All right. All right. <laughs>